I was always fascinated by the excellent achievement of the shooters of the 19th century Creedmoor long range shooting matches. Since I had my Pedersoli running block silhouette rifle in 4570 caliber, I was looking for that magical one more group size at 100 meter. I had success with my rifle at 100 meter, but my group size was never smaller than one and a half more, and usually I lost accuracy after the seventh or eighth shot due to the fooling problem. My rifle is equipped with a Winchester A5 scope that was manufactured in the beginning of the 20th century. It is a six power scope that is okay for target shooting but not really good for hunting as it loses its power in, in low light conditions. The cartridges I use are loaded with 55 grains of black powder, it's Swiss 2F powder. The wed I use between the bullet and the powder is a special wed, it, uh, it is a grease wed. Between two thin layers of cardboard, of waterproof cardboard, I have about 2 mm of the same grease that I use on my bullet as well. My grease, my lubricant, is made of beeswax, tallow and 0W40 engine oil. The bullet I use is a Lyman Postal bullet, it's 530 grains weight and uh, it is size 2458. This is the exact groove to groove, groove diameter of my bore. So please follow me to the range to see how I shot my best group size so far with my rifle. That is really close to this one more, I can tell you. And uh, you are watching Balazs Német and this is Cap and Ball TV. I adjust my bullet seating depth so the bullet will touch the forcing cone to eliminate the free flight period. This results a stronger recoil because the force of the bullet leaving the case and the force of the bullet entering the forcing cone will be additive. But this is not such a great problem if your cartridge is loaded with black powder and if your case is not crimped. Remember, your first shot from a clean barrel will hit somewhere else than all the following shots. So never count your first shot into the group size. One of the most important thing in black powder cartridge shooting is the quality and quantity of your lubricant. It must keep the fooling soft so you can remove it between the shots. When you wipe your bore, always do it the same way, so you have even quantity of residue in your bore in every shot. It is often a problem that the bullet runs out of grease at the end of the bore. In this case, lead deposit will start to build up at the muzzle that will ruin the accuracy. So after shot, check your muzzle. If you have unburned grease on your muzzle, you are on the good road. If you have lead on your cleaning patch, it means that you have lead deposit in the bore. In this case, use a solvent like Robla to clean it. Remember, the last 10-15 cm of your bore and the muzzle crown are the most important parts for accuracy. To achieve hole-in-hole -hole accuracy, the good rifle and the good cartridge is not enough. You have to learn how to shoot from the rest as well. My rest for this test was a simple bag loaded with rice. It is not the best rest you can find, so I suggest you to buy one of those cast steel adjustable stands with leather padding. When you are wiping your bore, use a tight jack and patch combination. A loose patch will do nothing in cleaning your bore. I always saturate my patches with spit. You can use solvents, but I think that the traditional spit patch works just as good as any commercially available solvent. To save your muzzle crown, always insert your cleaning rod from the breech. I tried many ways to clean my bore after each shot. I tried using a blow tube, I tried using a damp patch followed by a dry one, I tried cleaning strongly with damp patch. But the only way that resulted a small group was pushing the spit patch through the bore only once.
So this is the best group size I shot so far with my rifle. The first shot, the folding shot went a bit higher, but the other four shots are within a very tight, very small group. The size of this group is only 28 mm, that is slightly bigger than the one more at 100 m. One more at 100 m is about 25 mm, but I think I'm on a good road. At this point I'm not sure that I can improve my cartridge anymore, but uh, I think I will have to touch my, my shooting position, I will have to change my shooting position, maybe to something seen behind me. So take care, stay tuned to my channel, as I will show you how I reload my cartridges seen in this video. Bye-bye.